guys good afternoon this is milena i'm here i don't think i can you guys can see me i'm here with fanny uh this is fantasia first of all i want to tell everybody thank you so much for joining me this is going to be a fun one i had a lot of fun practicing this one and um i just want to say happy chinese new year guys you know that i am married to somebody who's chinese so for me this is an honor to do it for him uh, if there's anybody that speaks Spanish, let me know and I'll translate. If not, then I'll just speak, you know, English and try to explain everything that I'm doing with Fantasia. And, and that's about it. So this year for Chinese New Year's uh, is the year of the dog. So I am going to do a dog on her, which I already have carved and also I have sprayed up um already so this way we can speed up the process so i'm just going to turn it around and if you guys have any questions just ask me and then i'll be coming back to the camera to uh, answer your questions so as you can see well nothing it's a black can is a blank canvas but it is going to be a dog and it's going to have a Chinese hat on top of him and we're going to be using Opaz ink and Opaz airbrush and some of the ink I have mixed uh, with other inks to create new colors uh, because sometimes the set doesn't come with the right color that you're looking for but um, I do like to mix my own colors so if you see me with a different color it's because I probably mixed it or added something else to get the color that I want. So let me just get her here. This way you guys can see. You guys can see. And I can see. Okay. So I'm going to start. I always uh, do this. I always have some highlights. And I am going to show you guys a couple of tools that I have come across just doing research. Just... Um, trying to get better and trying to practice and some stuff does work better than others so I'm going to show you a couple of things that I have learned along the process when I'm doing my creatives and all of that so let me just get her here okay so I'm going to be doing let me just adjust my airbrush okay sometimes we gotta adjust it so it can work. And I put my hand behind her so I don't touch the white. Uh, yes, this is the Opaz airbrush. Do you put the color in the airbrush? Yeah, the color is right here. You just uh, put it in here. Um, this, believe it or not, uh, a lot of people say, oh, something might not work. But you actually have to learn how to use your product. And if you see this knob right here, it allows you to do it spread. Or if I tighten the knob, then it will be able to give you uh, details. So... It will give you a finer detail, a finer line. So the more loosened up is going to wider and the more tiny is going to give you the final line sometimes that you're going to see that we're going to do for the eyes. And we have Nikki. Always wanting, but you're scared. Well, let me tell you something. Scared? I am scared too. 
Um, I do remember the first time that I competed creative or that I had the idea to compete. Um, it was very scary and I always tell everybody that you shouldn't be scared, but I was scared and I understand where you guys are coming from, but sometimes you just got to do it. And, uh, I do remember it was very frightening the day that I did it, but once you do it and you start practicing and you start doing other stuff and you start seeing that things come out better and better and you start learning um, more techniques then you will be able to create more and then you'll be, be very happy with the results because you know I always say this to everybody practice makes perfect and you just got to do it everybody has the talent to do it we just got to do it and you got to find you got to find more reasons why to do it than excuses why not to do it. I always say that. Okay? So, if you guys are scared, I always say also to practice on paper. And always keep in mind that this is um, washable. So, tomorrow if I want a washer, she will be um, white again. And a lot of you know that I don't color Fantasia because I like to practice with her my airbrush skills and other designs that might be taking me a little bit harder to to learn so basically right now i'm just doing a little outline and this is a, a nice tool that i want to show you guys and i'm glad i came to this step right here okay so this is called a french curve tool Yes, she is a live dog. It's just that she's very trained not to move. So <laughs> she is used to all of this. And she, I actually bought her to practice. And she's an excellent model. So anyway, this is a French curve tool. And this will save your life in a lot of things. Because as you can see, the way I did the edge right now, I'm not really happy. But if I put my tool here and just come here... It will give me that sharp edge that I'm looking for. So if some of those of you that don't have uh, a steady hand, this tool will come in very handy because not everybody has a steady hand. So that will um, help you and that will also uh, allow you to do a neater line if you don't have that steady hand that we all need okay when it comes to some stuff so this is something that i found that really helps me and i'm gonna use it here and um most of the stuff okay Hola Andy, hablas español, ¿verdad? Yo estaba diciéndole a todos que tengo varias herramientas que puedes usar para por si no tienes una mano eh, bien precisa. Se pueden usar eh, esta, esta herramienta que es muy útil porque si no tienes la mano bien precisa puedes ponerla y te hace ahí mismo el marco que te va a facilitar el trabajo y más rápido y te va a quedar mucho mejor. I was just translating what I was explaining to you guys about the tool. And you guys are very welcome. I really, um, let's see, thank you for doing this demo. I decided to learn what would you find is the easiest to practice first. Can you do the whole tail with that? Yes, I could. I can do airbrush. Uh, you can airbrush whatever you want to airbrush on the dog. Um, I would say if you guys are just starting, chalk is a good alternative because it's easier. But airbrush is fun so you guys can practice the airbrush um, so basically I have the ears and more or less the top of the head uh, and I'm going to I'm gonna show you guys how I actually clean my airbrush I clean it with Windex actually it's it's faster and I usually have just a little cup and I'll put it in the windows and I don't even go through it I just dump it out and I find that that is easier for me 
to clean my airbrush just windex and and then i'll i could go ahead with the wiping and try to get as much as i can so i find that that it, it helps me um better okay so let's see now we're gonna use some red we're gonna use some red And if you guys don't have the color like I was telling you, you guys can actually buy this mixing bottles and put coloring here and mix it to the shade that you want it. And that will actually help you uh, just get the right color that you want. And then it will be better for you. Okay. So my idea here for the dog, I'm going to color this. Fantasia is very, um, it's used to this. She's, she's gonna probably go to sleep in a minute, but she's very used to what I do to her. So anybody that is a non-groomer, I always say, uh, before you think anything, uh, always understand that when we do things to certain dogs, it's the type of dog that will stay still. I'm not gonna do this to somebody who doesn't stay still, somebody who has anxiety. As you can see, this dog is just sitting there and she's not doing much, basically, okay? So I'm going back to what I was telling you guys about this wonderful tool, okay? And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with it. So you can get, the good thing is that you can get it at any angle. So I'm just going to come here. So you guys can see that sharp, sharp, sharp um, line. And the reason why I also like it it's because I can just take, when I'm doing the, the color, I can just take a wipey and wipe my, I'm sorry guys, okay, and wipe my tool. That tool can be bought anywhere. It can uh, be purchased in Amazon. It's called a French curve tool. They have different sets. And as you can see, it's a very cool, um, cool tool. Um, most of the opas you can wash off. Um, if I don't wash it, of course, she's going to stay this way. But if I do wash it, then it will, I would actually go into the first wash for me because I like to wash with, um, And as you can see, I want to make sure I do the curve. So I'm actually going to use the inside now of my tool. To create that both edge. And then I can just fill it up with the red. And then I'm going to come here. I'm gonna come here. I'm trying to figure out which way I did this one. Okay. So I can get that better in there. She's already falling asleep. <laughs> so 
So I wipe it again just because I wanted clean lines. The reason why I want clean lines, it's because um, I'm going to add another color in there. As you can see guys you get perfect lines uh, instead of me doing it uh, just by freehand it makes the design look better and it's actually easier to do it this way I'm actually just taking advantage that I have red and just doing my little tongue there. Okay, so now I'm going to switch my color. I'm just cleaning out my airbrush. And, you know, this is really fun if you guys have the opportunity. It doesn't have to be a fluffy dog. Like I said, you can, you can start doing it in in paper that also helps and just practice the airbrush and then you'll you'll start seeing what works and well what doesn't work Okay, now here.
my other can I get some brown Whenever you're using an airbrush, you gotta keep two things in mind. Everything is layers and everything is uh, details and shadows and all of that good stuff to make it more, you know, dimension. You wanna give you, um, the design some dimension so it's not just one dimension. So you gotta just be patient and, you know, patient and try. Always say, always try. You're not going to lose anything. If I were to do this design and it didn't come out as well as I would like it to come out, then, you know, it wouldn't matter uh, because I can just wash it and do it all over again. So practice makes perfect. Don't always remember that, guys. Looking for a certain color. Let's see, where's my color?
gotta get her to sit down. This is airbrush, this is uh, temporary. It's not gonna run because it's all sprayed up. But this is uh, more or less, um, I always say first, for if you wanna create your own portfolio, if you wanna showcase um, you know, your designs, what you can do, this is something definitely that you wanna do. This is not something that you're gonna color and expect it to be like this for the week or so, because it is airbrush and it is gonna, um, you know, not look as good as it's looking right now. So it's more of uh, when you compete creative, you need that those final details, you can use it with this. Um, when you're doing this type of uh, designs, then yeah, you can use airbrush as well. And this, uh, like I was uh, explaining to you guys, these tools are pretty cool because <laughs> it has a nose. So I thought it was pretty cute. I can just put it here and mark the nose. Or I can just go here and do it by hand. For those just joining in, thank you so much for coming, guys. I hope that you guys are enjoying um, the little dog for the Chinese New Year. Uh, I'm almost done with him. It was a very um, cute design that I came up with. So it was just fun. But um, I was showing you guys some tools that I use um, to get some of the stuff. makes your life easier.
This is the Opaz airbrush, and I'm using Opaz ink. This is all Opaz. And I was just showing you guys some tools that I use. I can come here as well. Uh, let me see. I'm going to put something under her. I can put something under her so I don't get none of the tail. I do have a stencil that I cut out uh, with the word uh, fortune. So I'm going to put it on her. I didn't want it to be that big. So I cut it out a little bit smaller. So I think this will be better. Uh, and this is, uh, let's see. I just want to make sure that it comes out. Yep. So as you can see guys, we have, let me push her forward, we have a little dog for the Chinese New Year and I'm going to add some of the stuff that um, it will give it that extra kick. I have some cool little things that I want to add to it. I have some gems that I bought that you can definitely add to this. You can use any tacky glue or anything like that that you want and you know again guys Fantasia is used to all of this so it's something that this is nothing um, new to her so whatever I do to her I mean I'll take off the gems or whatever but she's used to me working with her so for her it's it's nothing that it's uh, out of the norm Right, Fanny?
so this is my Chinese New Year and then you can also you know like anything you can add um, some glitter to it let me see if I, if I can get this on you can definitely add a little glitter to it to make it shine in her hat To make it shine a little bit in her hat. So here you guys have it. It's the Chinese New Year Year of the Dog. And then of course to top it off, um, cause she's a pretty girl. I'm gonna give your I have a red bow and then we're gonna ask her to pose for us right Fanny there you go I'm gonna take off my phone off uh, the pad but this is how this is how she poses there you go if I could take a picture right now I would Fanny good girl but uh, she's definitely um, like I told you guys, she's definitely used to all of this. So this is my new year. Year of the dog. Chinese. Um, interpretation of the little doggy with the Chinese hat. So I hope you guys liked it. I hope that you guys learned something. Uh, remember, you can buy tools or stencils from Opaz. Or you can just buy also this type. Um, you can buy the airbrush. Uh, you can play with it uh, with the knob, you know, the finer you want it, the tighter it has to be, and the uh, wide range you want it, you know, the looser it has to be. But uh, definitely something that you can do it yourself, and you just got to practice, and you just got to do it. So I hope you guys enjoy. Look at my face, it's all black, but I hope you guys enjoy it. I had a lot of fun. Uh, she's definitely a really good girl as you can see she's used to all of this So if you guys happen to come across a dog that likes all of this, then you guys are lucky uh, If not, there's always paper. So just practice your designs and Make sure that you just practice practice makes perfect. So I hope you guys enjoy. Okay. I'll see you next time uh, Yeah, if you guys have any questions, you can just um, Message me and I'll be more than happy to to let you know what products or what do I think uh, it works best and um, I do buy a lot of stuff just to try it out so if you guys have any questions anytime you can always just shoot me a text bye guys have a good night and happy Chinese New Year